Last week, I climbed aboard a Pike County school bus to see how many drivers were passing stopped buses loading and unloading children. And what I saw was shocking to both me and law enforcement officials. So I was very surprised, actually shocked. It's just disturbing that people are that such a hurry that they can't stop for a school bus. There's no excuse for that, none whatsoever. This week, the Pike County Sheriff's Office organized a special detail aimed at targeting drivers who pass stopped buses. We've got myself and uh, two support vehicles and three chase vehicles. You know, children of all ages are unloaded off these buses and they need to know that they're safe. On Wednesday, I climbed on the same bus I rode last week, but this time, Chief Deputy Lynn Cross rode too. Uh, my purpose on the bus is to ensure the safety of the children on the bus while this detail is going on. I want to make sure that they are not in any kind of danger and that they are off the bus in a proper and safe manner. As the bus traveled and made its stops, two unmarked police cruisers watched from a distance. And amazingly, not one vehicle passed the bus as children were unloading. It is a victory. So today we didn't issue any citations. We had no infractions. Uh, involving the school bus or passenger cars. So the publicity that the media is doing for it is causing a decrease in the uh, uh, infractions of the law. And, but we will, we are going to continue this just because you know, see how things are. Sometimes it gets real important and then kind of dies down. So we want to stay with the story and, and stay with the enforcement action. Chief Deputy Cross says it truly takes a team to make enforcement efforts like this one successful. Superintendent Atkins and the Pike County Board, along with members of Pike, of Pike Central High School, of the bus drivers, everyone cooperated and invited us and wanted us and encouraged us, and, and we want to thank them. But we're going to continue this, and we will do this uh, hopefully at least once a week, and, and maybe ride other buses as well. Preston Reif, who drives the bus that we rode, says since our story first aired last week, he has seen a significant decrease in the amount of drivers passing his bus when it is stopped. And we hope that trend continues.